Hi guys, Christina Blackfeather here for another edition of Beautiful Food, Beautiful People. Um, oh no, vegan baby. Uh, <laughs> or something like that, we'll see. Um, anyway, uh, I had recently watched a video by C. Siren Janine, who is a primal diet person and she used to be vegan and uh, she's friends with Daphne Reloaded who many people know um, but uh, as I've said before I go and watch all sorts of stuff on nutrition and things like that and one of my uh, things that I enjoy uh, is kind of my reality TV is the back and forth between vegans and carnivores so one's claiming the other one's bad and back and forth they go so in this case, um, C. Siren Janine had pointed out a video by that vegan couple where they were talking about how uh, these parents had been jailed uh, their infant. Uh, they were not giving the infant formula. They were doing an alternative to formula through veganism. And... Um, so not even a vegan formula that is produced by a company that has experts in infant nutrition and can get exactly what needs to be done, uh, what needs to be in the formula ratio to fats, to macro and micronutrients, to, you know, all of this stuff, which is, and, and yeah, baby formulas are expensive. All of them are extremely expensive which I think is ridiculous, um, but they're there for a reason. So the first thing that these people took it on was just kind of pretty appalling to me. The parents of being them a known carcinogen. I could have skipped this part. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today we're responding to a tweet we were sent about an article. Thoughts? I don't believe that is the reason the baby died. What is your view? I People are asking about medical advice from these guys. Okay, yet another article written about a vegan couple, not us, uh, whose baby unfortunately has, has died, has passed away. Very unfortunate. Let's take a look at the article. By the way, if you do have any uh, video suggestions, you can always tweet us at Vegan Couple. So I have read the article. And I haven't. So this is going to be my raw reaction. Ah, here we go. So the headline is, Judge convicts parents after baby dies from vegan diet. Now, when was the last time we read a headline that said, Judge convicts parents after baby dies from omnivorous diet? That set me off, like, immediately. Um, and I'm not even going to play the rest of their video because I don't want them to have a flying fit. But um, it, the reason why we don't hear about omnivorous diet is because basically we hear that an infant has been starved, malnourished, or abused. Um, a vegan diet is a special consideration. And what they're doing here is trying to go with a kind of clickbait type thing. And you can see their comments are disabled for one thing. But if you go and take a look at the case itself, um, it was an infant in Belgium and uh, he was weighing nine pounds, which is seven pounds under weight according to the CDC and the organs were shrunk to half their normal size. Now, little Lucas, um, they turned around, they owned a health food store, and they fed an infant vegetable milk made of oak, buckwheat, rice, and quinoa. So he didn't even get vegan formula he got vegetable milk. And that's where people are having a cow because it's not the vegan diet uh, raising the baby as a vegan. It's what these parents did that ended up with this infant being uh, 
dead. And um, they killed their infant. It's basically all there is to it. And um, yeah, they, it turned out that the mom was not breastfeeding. And there's a lot of vegans on YouTube that will breastfeed. Um, I think Unconventional Mama does at least two or three years on hers. Um, but there are some women who cannot breastfeed for particular reasons. I couldn't um, because of uh, infections that I kept getting and stuff. Um, so I had to bottle feed both. Um, but, uh, and that was with the doctor's recommendation. Well, in this case, um, there were, uh, of course, other cus couples that are uh, vegetarian or whatever that had lost children as well um, because of the diet. Um, but it turns out um, that with this case, uh, it says here that after a series of cases that put vegan parenting in international headlines, his ex-wife forced their child to eat vegetarian. <sighs> Some children can do very well on vegetarian because you're still having um, eggs and dairy. Um, the father took her to an Italian court in May, and that was a different one. Um, but did she have the child eat vegetarian or did the child end up eating vegan and how old was the child? Um, another 14 year old uh, was with the vegan diet. Um, they, the uh, hospital doctors thought the baby lacked fundamental nutrients uh, which worsened his congenital heart. Um, the couple refused to follow the doctor's orders and diversify his food. You can't be that strict on a diet with a child that has a congenital heart condition that needs surgery. And in this case, I had read through part of this um, with the heart condition. This child required surgery. And at that point, you have to deal with surgical diet and you have to deal with what the hospital nutritionist and the pediatrician recommend you cannot vary from that um, and but they did and the problem is is it's very difficult to feed a balanced vegan diet um, it that's a diet that's difficult for adults um, there are a lot of special uh, things that have to be done, proper supplementation, uh, proper balance of proteins and, and carbs and all of this stuff. And it is, I mean, the, if you watch any vegan YouTuber, they're constantly looking at macro and micronutrients on this calculator on the web. Um, they have to pay attention to that. And there, it is very easy for an adult to get malnourished on a vegan diet. Well, this is also the case with, an, if for sure, with an infant. Um, nutrient deficiencies are much higher. Um, it is possible to feed a baby a healthy diet that's uh, also vegan, but you need to be really well informed, and I agree with that. I don't agree with that it's poss possible. I suppose it is, but I, why play around with that? I mean, seriously, this is not a pet. This is your baby. And while, yeah, after about a year and a half, you know, two years, you want to switch them to, you know, as you're training them on oral foods, you want to switch them over to go into vegetarian or to fully plant-based. That's one thing. But while they still need milk, if they're not allergic to a formula or a pre-digested formula, uh, things like that. There are vegan formulas out there that have all of these things put into them anyway. A lot of them are soy-based, but there's also rice-based. Um, you know, there's various ones. Uh, let's take a look here. Where is it? Here it is. There's a lot of formulas on Amazon, and some are cheaper than others. Um, some I don't understand. Oh, that's a pack of four. So four cans for $75. That's a toddler formula. My kids never had any luck with that. Goat milk, 
you know, I know that's not vegan, but that's a pretty decent one. And goat milk is actually easier to digest. There's Neocate. There's all sorts of ones that you can get. There's organic, um, various dairies. Uh, there's soy. I know somebody was uh, talking about that there's a riced one, too. I just can't find it right at the moment. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can get. Um, one of the things that just kind of had me going and squidgy for me was um, finding uh, a lady doing an organic vegan recipe for formula at home. Um, I don't know anybody who recommends this. Um, actually, uh, American Academy of Pediatrics, which a lot of vegans don't reference, guys, and I can see why, because it costs $29 to get the full thing of these publications, but they don't recommend it to do it at home because you have to have certain measures of fats and proteins and enzymes and everything else in order for this stuff to be easier to digest and for the infant's body to process and get the nutrients that they have to have in order to grow healthily. Uh, yeah, I suppose it could save you money making it at home, but why risk this? Again, this is not a pet. This is your own child. This is their life. This is their development. Wouldn't you want to have their bones and their muscles and their heart grow strong and their brain to get all the nutrition that it needs? Why are you going to go and make something like with ingredients with almond milk and coconut water and coconut oil and spirulina and Sachi Inchi oil? No. This. Just no. <laughs> this is not something you want to play around with. This is, this is your child's life in your hands. And so yeah, the parents got jailed. And part of the reason the parents got jailed, this is this is a lovely one. Um, the, the latest veggie parents defense attorney, uh, argued that the family's story was more complex than just giving, uh, them not being informed on the diet. The mother failed to lactate, uh, when offered milk of formula, they said the baby declined. So they presumed he was lactose or gluten intolerant. So, um, the, the, uh, father said something contradictory. He said, we never went with Lucas to a doctor because we never noticed anything unusual. Prosecutors allege that the couple traveled across the country to see a homeopathic specialist, aka a natural doctor, and neither a social worker or a regular doctor had ever seen this infant. That's my biggest complaint right here. You know, I guess if you want a natural path yourself to death, go ahead. But why an infant? This mentality that naturopaths know everything and that people who are professional medical people are only lying to you and uh, part of big pharma and all of this, that is not the case. We're specialized. Many of us are specialized in what we do. All we do is care for ch infants and children. There are nurses who are more specialized than that. Same thing with doctors. You're not going to have a GP working with a child in the NICU. You're going to have a pediatrician. You're going to have a pediatric specialist, and those nurses are specifically licensed for that kind of care. And that's all they do. Your pediatric nutritionist that works with the doctor specializes in that sort of thing. Your pediatric dietitian, your pediatric physical therapist, 
your pediatric oncologist, your pediatric uh, uh, neural uh, uh, doctor. They all specialize. And there is a reason for it. They know their stuff. Now, some are better than others. I had to doctor shop for a little bit. Um, and it wasn't because I was being an overly picky nurse mom, um, but it was because the doctor went and checked the uh, rash on my son's butt and then didn't wash his hands and stuck his bare fingers after sticking his fingers in the diaper and touching his behind, stuck them in my son's mouth. I had a fit. I never took my son to that doctor again. Those sort of things do happen. You do have to watch your doctors and your health professionals that you go to, but you also have to trust that you're going to have a good one and that they're going to know their stuff. So this whole thing with going to a homeopathic doc, uh, homeopathic uh, specialist, and that's not even a real thing. Homeopathy is sugar pills or water. That's all it is. So they went to someone who's peddling woo and they paid out of pocket for this and it costed their child his life. So yeah, I think that the title of this article is probably a little misleading, but I, I think that uh, that vegan couple took it all wrong as to where it went because they're still they're turning around and saying well you can later in their video they say you can't trust um, what the news media says and oh the news media is backed by this big company and they're backed by this and they went completely conspiracy instead of taking a look at what actually went on and there's been other vegan uh, parents who have fed their infants formulas made out of potatoes um, not even a real formula. They would just go and make one at home out of uh, potato milk or something like that, which potato is nightshade, essentially. Um, you don't give that to an infant. You know, so that's where these things, the problem with some of these vegans that do that stuff is they're so far down into the woo rabbit hole that they can't see past the hole that they're in and they think they're right and they don't want to actually talk to somebody because if you turn around and go to the pediatrician and say hey I'm vegan I want to raise my infant as vegan that pediatrician's going to help you f come up with the right thing to do and they're also going to refer you to a nutritionist who is also going to help you do the right thing by your child. And I'm sorry if your child cannot handle soy milk and the doctor recommends that they get Neocate or something else like that, especially if they've had surgical procedures and have tube feedings, do it. Don't argue with them. Take the recommendations because your infant's life is on the line. This isn't about helping the animals at this point. This is about making sure that your infant has the best life possible. So yeah, it just was sometimes just terrible. And I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I'm still kind of baffled as to what exactly caused that but that was definitely part of it um, and this one here he was taken to a hospital by concerned grandparents and found to be suffering from severe malnutrition which goes to back to where uh, I hate these ads um, where an infant needs a certain amount of nutrition and um, you're not going to get it on a homemade formula for that somebody that young. 
And if you're vegan yourself and you have the capability, even if you can't get them to latch on and all you can do is pump the breast milk, then pump the breast milk. Make sure you get extra on your vitamins. Um, keep taking prenatal vitamins. Talk to your doctor. Talk to the lactation specialist. See what you need to do to increase your own health so you can support that baby because that baby is going to be can cannibalizing you. But that baby has to come first. And if all you can do is pump the milk, then do it. If they tell you the baby has to go on a specific formula, then do it. And that's where I'm going to leave this out. So everybody have a great day. Blessed be.